Hey there guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be making some piles of trash. This is going to be the first video in a post-apocalyptic terrain series that I'm going to do. And I thought building some piles of trash would be a good place to start. Mm, trash. Yeah, I love trash. Yum, yum, trash. I have these spray foam rock piles that I started like, I don't know, two years ago. They've just been sitting around collecting dust. I never actually uh, finished them. It was kind of a failed project. I tried spraying the foam onto a uh, foam board. It ended up bowing the foam board up. I had to kind of double up the foam board to uh, get it to sit flat. I probably could have made it work, but I just never ended up finishing the project. So I thought these might be able to serve as a good base layer for some garbage piles. So I decided to try it out. I'm not gonna use all the piles in this video, just three of them. I'm gonna probably be using some of the other piles for some other projects in the future. So be on the lookout for that. I cut portions of the spray foam out to make some like flatter areas for minis to stand on. And I covered most of these pieces with drywall compound. And I put a little bit of sand around the bases, but beyond that I haven't really done too much to these. I gave these piles some pretty big bases and uh, I wanted to uh, have at least one edge that I could butt up against, uh, say like a wall or maybe even like put them up against each other to combine to make an even larger junk pile. So I cut a portion of the base edge off of each piece. If that isn't really clear, you will see what I mean later on. Oh yeah, I originally put some pins in the foam board while I glued it together. I'm just gonna remove those real quick. I also decided to ruin the blade on my scissors by cutting around the dried sand on the, on the base of this thing. I was trying to blunt the edges a little bit. With the bases prepped, let's take a look at that sweet trash. Meet me behind the dumpster in 90 seconds. First up, we have these partially failed prints that I did. I was testing out Sarai Tech Fast Resin. I think the main issue with these was I didn't have them on a sharp enough angle. So the bottoms came out a little janky, but the tops look pretty good. And I think they're gonna work pretty well for something like this, where I can really hide the defects. We also have some various plastic bits and scraps from other projects. Some lovely corrugated paper, some bread bag clips, various caps, and even some scraps from the bases that I just cut apart. Oh, and some chicken wire. So hopefully recycling all these pieces can uh, help lighten the bin man's load this week. Why do you care so much about the plight of the bin man? What is this? So I spread the trash bits out pretty evenly among each piece, just trying to kind of get a good balance of stuff on each one to create that trash pile in a junkyard effect. I decided to cover most of the flatter areas with boards to kind of make it a little more clear that they were uh, traversable. I used a hobby knife to make the boards look a little more aged and worn. And in certain spots, I even built up a little bit of a scaffolding. There isn't really a whole lot to say about this process. I just layered things on randomly in a way that kind of gave some visual variety and gave the illusion that this was a pile of junk. With this particular terrain node, I wanted to use some cat food containers. And I made a couple different objects with those. I made a few partially buried drums that I kind of scattered around and a long slithering metal piece that I put on the top there. And I also made some pretty convincing pipe ends by bending a piece of the can into a smaller cylinder using my clamps. Here I'm covering twine with some PVA glue and winding it up. This becomes unworkable almost immediately. Fortunately, it doesn't have to look pretty here, so it didn't really matter. At one point I tried making like a DIY uh, train paste. I mixed grout, PVA, and paint together, and uh, that did not work very well. I think the PVA pretty much activated the grout and uh, it, it ended up being like a really gummy mixture and it was really hard to work with. So don't do that. Next time I think I'll try using baking soda instead of grout. 
Once the pieces were looking sufficiently trashy, I covered them with a watered down mixture of Maj Podge and paint. This tied the pieces together a little bit and also helped to strengthen the corrugated paper. And at this point, I know what you're thinking. Where are the garbage bags? Well, I was thinking that too, so I made a few garbage bags out of this uh, air drying modeling material. I rolled up a couple balls about the size of a marble, just using a little bit of water, and I mashed them into the pieces here and there. Then I rolled up some much smaller triangles to create the effect of a tied off trash bag. I added those to about a third of the trash bags, because some of them would be on the underside of the bag and not even visible. I used a sculpting tool to uh, create the effect of some creases in the trash bags, especially where the neck was tied off. So at this point, my table was covered in scraps. Look at this mess, did you do this? I swept them up into a small container and I sprinkled them onto some PVA glue, which I put around the edges of the pieces. The main reason I did that was to try and hide the foam board, but it did end up looking pretty good. Next, I created a mixture of PVA glue, paint, and a little bit of water in a spray bottle. And I sprayed down each node, getting into all the nooks and crannies. This process got quite messy and I dabbed off some of the excess with a paper towel, which I then realized that I could use for some canvas effects. Oh yeah! I really love this canvas effect. I used it in uh, my previous video and I was definitely looking forward to using it again. So this was a great opportunity to do that. Once everything was good and dry, I started going in and painting the details. I painted the tires and the bags black and then I went in with some metallics, picking out details here and there. And I dry brushed a lot of the ground with a plate metal because I figured there would probably be a lot of metallic scraps like mixed in here and there. So I wanted the earth to kind of have some metallics mixed in here and there. I actually dry brushed that one pretty heavily in certain spots. I picked four different colors out to paint the corrugated pieces. And I wasn't really being super careful with any of these colors because I knew I was gonna be dry brushing over this uh, quite a few times. Next, I dry brushed over the corrugated pieces with a plate metal. And then I dry brushed everything with a light tan color. At that point, I thought everything was looking a little bit too bright and it didn't really match the board that I wanted to use these with. So I mixed up a wash and sporadically went over most of the piece. And once that was dry, I dry brushed on some desert yellow, particularly around the base. This was also to help match the uh, particular mat that I want to use these with, which you will see here shortly. Finally, I mixed some Maj Podge and ink together. Uh, I didn't add any water this time because I wanted it to be nice and thick, kind of the consistency of like oil. And I thought it would be cool if there was some kind of a dark liquid uh, pouring out of this pipe. So I poured some of that in there and just let it drip out. And I also brushed that liquid on in a few other spots just to kind of create some like mucky, uh, oily spots. Like over here, it kind of looks like this barrel is like leaking. And finally, I went in with some rust effect on some of the metallics. It was pretty uh, goopy. I should have shook it up a little better. After that dried, I went in with a little bit of edge highlighting with a lava orange. Oh, and I also made this cool little walkway. And that's pretty much it. And here's the finished product. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. If you're interested in seeing more projects like this, go ahead and like and subscribe.
I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it inspires you to make something of your own. I hope you have a good day and I will see you later.